All right, guys, we just did our binding, uh, and now we've got, uh, we should be connected here, if I'm not mistaken. I think, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, we're connected, but now it's time to go ahead and get to the next step, which is going to be to get the beta flight software that Free Sky's put on the website so we can up, like, update some of the settings. So we're going to go and power off my drone. Okay. And I'm going to power Receiver off my... Receiver still connected. No, it's not. Telemetry. There we go. Okay, just be quiet. There we go. All right, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and head on over to the Free Sky website. So let me just let me just open this up here, right? And I've already had this page open, but if you want to know how to get here, just go to freesky-rc.com, right? Which will get you to this page. And then what you want to do is go to products and then don't click it, just hover over it and then go all the way over to Rover 3 and click that, okay? And once you do that, I want you to scroll down and go to download and then click here to go to the downloads page. Two things that you're going to download. One is going to be the Betaflight firmware. Click download. I already I just did that, but I wasn't recording it when I did it, so it's right here. And then you can download the Lewis script. Click that too. We're going to discuss that in a different video because that's actually a little bit harder to mess with. Um, once you've got these downloaded, let's go over here and click show in folder. Okay, and uh, we want to uh, unzip this. So let's go ahead and click extract. Right click on it. So let me show you what I just did, I apologize. So what I want you to do is, when you see this folder in your downloads folder, after you've downloaded it from the FreeSky website, right? So in your downloads folder, I want you to go ahead and right click on that file and left click on extract. Okay, and I have, I think this is the Windows, I think it's, I don't know what it's doing, maybe Windows software, but it's gonna extract for me. And here is my folder right here, right? And if I double click it, then I double click it again, it's gonna give me all the information here Okay, on what I want to um, use here and what they're giving it to me for. So, and now this is an old version of Betafly, by the way. So let's go here and let's see what they're talking about. The first thing is they have instructions. So let's go to the instructions. Okay, it wants you to set your outputs in this order. So what we're going to do first is let's go ahead and get our radio and let's figure out how we're going to do this. Let's power it up. Okay. Welcome to OpenTX. All right, so here's what we have. Um, they want us to use the TAER settings, which is pretty much what we would normally use, or at least that's what I use, but some people use the other way, AETR. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's go to menu. Um, and then we have our model here, which is the rover that we've created. Let me go ahead and um, uh, do it like this, okay? Uh, and we're just gonna hit, once we know we're on our model, just hit page, page, page. And here's what we go, here's what we have. We have uh, channel one, it should look like this, inputs T-A-E-R, just like this, okay? So if you can see that, um, I'll try to zoom in here a little bit, but your inputs page needs to look like this, okay? That's what they want you to, that's how they want you to have it. Now let me zoom back out, okay? Zoom out more, there we go. All right, um, okay? And then it says auxiliary five is going to be uh, arm. So we're gonna go to five right here and click it. And we're going to type, click here for the input and just make it say arm. Okay. Oops. Oh, I hate when I do that. Okay, let's read QR. There we go. Exit. Let's go here. I need to turn that volume down. Hold on one second. That should do it. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go to the name and we're going to do the same thing again. Call it arm. I don't know whose that is. That must be Samantha's. Okay, arm. And then we're basically going to find our switch. I'm going to make this switch. So I'm going to click it so it's blinking. I'm going to flip my switch and it's going to become my SA three way switch. Okay? So I hit exit, exit, exit. And that, um, that's set, that is set. Now they want auxiliary two is the mode. So we want a three position. So we're going to use. A three position switch will be this position. So let's go to uh, channel six, which is auxiliary two. Uh, and let's go ahead and call this mode. It's going to be MOD because we don't have three, four letters on this line. So let's just put MOD. Okay. And let's go down to the next one. Okay. And for our source, we're going to click it, and we're going to use right here. So it's going to be SC. Okay. Hit exit when you're done with that one. And it's saying no mode is up, angle mode is middle, and horizon mode is down. Okay. So that's how they have it in the directions here. So let's hit exit, exit. Now they want us to use uh, channel 7, auxiliary 3. Um, hey, you're, some of these computers going knock, knock, knock. It's not mine, right? Because my volume turned all the way down. It must be mine. Is it yours? Okay. 
Um, so this is the tilt slider. So um, it assigned to a slider on the radio. So in that case, we're going to use this dial right here. Okay. And uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to hold this, and we're going to call this tilt. Uh, so we'll just do T L T, since we're going to use three letters, T L T. Okay. And then we can come down here. We can write the whole word if we want. When is our next time? Uh, they should be in the next couple of days. Whoever they've already shipped, uh, they shipped today actually, so they should be here within three days or so. But I can sell any of the goggles that came with the FPV kit. Still, we have. We activate them here, and we can sell those. So if they're interested in that, I can go ahead and ring them up for that. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna name that Tilt, just like that. Actually, I think I want to make sure. Okay. There we go. And then for this source, we're gonna click it, and we're gonna turn this dial. Okay, and they want a slider to be used so that you can actually set this as a variable when you're hovering in, in Horizon. Okay, so there you go. Now hit exit and exit, and we're done. Okay, so on um, Auxiliary 2, it does explain to you what this means and how it's going to work. Okay, and that's how they want this set up. Now, that's on our inputs. Let's go to page, click page, and go to mix, and we're going to go to channel 5, and we're going to click it, and then we're going to call this one arm. Okay, and that's it. I'm gonna go to channel six. We're gonna call that one mode. Okay, and then channel seven. We're gonna call that one tilt. Okay, and you're done, all right? You have now done everything that it says to do on this instruction right here, okay? Now, uh, it says right here on the top, flash the flight controller with the newest firmware and the diff file in the CLI, already done in the factory. Do it again if you're having troubles. Well, they meant troubles, okay. So I don't know um, what they're gonna do as the, uh, I don't believe there's gonna be any update to this, but here's what we're gonna do. Now that we're done with the radio configuration, right, um, we're going to go ahead and set our radio side. And let's go ahead now and see what we can do to get um, our firmware to flash. So let's turn this upside. I'm going to take the power off, by the way. Let's turn it upside down. Take this out. And I happen to have a right angle. I'm hoping it's the right size. Oh, man, it's the other way, isn't it? What a pain. Maybe I can go in this way. Hold on. You need to be able to get your USB cable in there. I hate doing this. A right angle cable is better for this, but hey, whatever you got, just good luck. Just try not to rip the cable. Try not to rip the port off. That's all. All right, so let's plug that in. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is, um, on, let me let me change this real quickly. Okay, so at this point we're going to stop because we just did the file on setting up the radio, right? And that was following there. So now we're going to do the beta flight. That'll be another video. This way we get to pause and you can go back and make sure you got everything done right, okay? So we'll be right back.